want a fine man, a nice looking working man. Am I right, ladies? You want a gorgeous, handsome, fine man like Denzel Washington. Oh, Denzel is gorgeous. Denzel is to women what Barney is to kids. <laughs> Denzel walking here, all the women go, I love you. <laughs> Just fine, fine. But you can date a guy four or five months, perfect gentleman. But around that fifth, sixth month, the jerk syndrome kicks in. I tried to warn my girlfriends. I try to help them. I'm like, ladies, don't be fooled. They pull out the chair, hold open the door, whisper sweet nothings in your ear. It's a setup. <laughs> my same silly girlfriend. Nuh-uh, girl. <laughs> I ask like, oh, that's what my man do for me. <laughs> I especially like when he be blowing in my ear. <laughs> What's the er? <laughs> I'm like, come here, boo, come here, come here, come here, boo. You airhead, he was giving you a refill. That's why he was blowing in your ear. <laughs> love my girlfriend, I do. I love my girlfriend, but she's one of those people who just cannot pronounce words properly. Now, by round of applause, be honest, round of applause. How many of you know people who just mess up the English language? By round of applause. Yep. Some of you aren't clapping. If you don't know somebody, you are that somebody. You just don't know it. <laughs> My girlfriend, same girlfriend, she says stuff like, My baby be going to school every day. He gonna get a perfect attendance to stiff it. <laughs> Boo, you need to go with him. <laughs> Girl, I love some seafood. <laughs> Swimps are the bomb. <laughs> what is a swimp? It's like it's harder to say it wrong, right? And she's always leaving out important information. She was trying to tell me about one of her other girlfriend's brothers who left the military. They don't know where he is. Girl, Trayvon left the military. He AOL. <laughs> what are you saying? He's lost on the internet? What do you mean? <laughs> come here, come here, come here, boo. <sighs> Bless a <her> little heart. <laughs> That's the southern thing we say. <laughs> we don't really want to offend you. Bless your little heart. <laughs> Tell you a little bit more about me. I have two children, beautiful children. My son, when he was born, I described him as the Gerber baby. I mean, in every sense of the word, I'm talking blonde hair, blue eyes, cutest little white boy you ever seen, right? My son is albino. I'm so cool with that. That's just how we were blessed. We're out in public, get some strange looks. People looking at me like I'm the nanny. Oh, yes. Mind your business, ma'am. <laughs> You're gonna get stabbed in the forehead, yeah. <laughs> Have a great day. <laughs> That's so cool, so cool. But you know, we took him to Disney World. You try taking a toddler off the ride when the ride stops. You know how your children just show out in public, you know, just fall out like somebody just took every bone out of their body, <laughs> like they've just been filleted or something. So. Son, we've got to go. Other people are waiting, because that's how I talk in public, right? Other people want to ride, son. Let's go. <laughs> so he falls out, and we have to pick him up and carry him out of the line. We're picking him up. People are walking by. Nosy people just walking by. Arms flailing. He's kicking his legs. Walking by. This one lady said, poor thing. He probably just wants his mother. <laughs> Mind your business, ma'am. <laughs> You're gonna get stabbed in the forehead. <laughs> Have a great day. Have a great day. Oh, my son, he's getting bigger now, and so I, I go and check on him at night. I can't say I tuck him in. I go check on him at night. And I was checking on him the other night, and he said, Mom, what have you been eating? I'm like, I don't know. Why? Because your breath stinks. <laughs> it's like, whoa. Honest to a fault, just like his mom. But just like his mom, if he's offended you, we want to get it right, right away. But mom, it's okay. It's okay, because at school, we're talking about dinosaurs, and every animal has a defense mechanism. <laughs> your breath could be your defense mechanism. <laughs> really, really, mom, it's so 
okay. Just like, we don't even need a gun. Somebody breaking the house, you just go. <laughs> thanks, son, thanks. Thanks. Now my daughter, on the other hand, bubbling brown sugar, feisty, just like her mom. She was born five weeks early at home on the kitchen floor. <laughs> I'm having labor pains, I call my doctor. You know, he says, can you be here in an hour? Sure, doc, I'll be there in an hour. My bag is already packed five weeks early because I've got OCD, right? Well, actually mine is CDO, okay. <laughs> got my bag packed, come out of the bedroom, take a few steps, contraction hits me, but I've been doing Lamaze. I can breathe through that. I'm breathing, everything. Okay, I'm good. Take a few more steps, I'm in the family room. Another contraction hits me, takes me to the floor. My water breaks. I told their father, call the ambulance, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. This genius <laughs> that I'm married to, or was. <laughs> He looks in the phone book. <laughs> I'm not making this up. He looks in the phone book. I'm like, what are you doing? It's 911. Just call the ambulance. And so he's acting as if he's auditioning for the Ben Stein Visine commercial. You know that guy? He's, my wife is in labor. She says she's not going to make it. I'm screaming, will somebody just help me? So you can see my daughter moving down the birth canal. I'm now on the floor. Will somebody help me? Her head pops out. He goes outside. <laughs> to wait for the ambulance. I tell my son, just go over there somewhere. You don't, you don't need to see all of this. Just go over there. I'm screaming, will somebody help me? I hear the ambulance. I hear the siren. Then somebody comes through the front door, runs through the living room, runs through the dining room, runs through the family room, slides in home, safe, comes up with a ball, I mean baby, in his hands. And I'm like, it's a baby girl. He said, but she's not crying. This little woman clears her throat. <clears throat> it was at that moment I realized I had just given birth to the other woman. <laughs> the other woman was my daughter. She has been feisty ever since. She's a tomboy, just like I was. Any former tomboys in the house? Woo! Yeah. Helps you navigate in the world. You're not so scared, right? Tomboy. I was one of the guys until I started liking the guys. <laughs> now I'm showing up to play tackle football with lip gloss and eyeliner on. <laughs> Hormones all over the place. And the fellas are looking at me like, What's all that stuff on your face? I'm like, what stuff on my face? <laughs> Hormones all over the place. So I was the secret weapon on my brother's football team, tackle football. They would pick me because no one ever suspected that I could tackle and knock you down. I'd hit you low, knock you flat. So I'm getting there right in front of the center of the other team. He's getting ready to hike the ball. I'm going to knock him flat like always. This time he hiked the ball. The guy knocks me flat. I'm on the ground. My brother comes over there. Yo, man, you better get up off my sister. I said, no, he's all right. He's <laughs> Hormones all over. <laughs> We're we just discussing a play. We're just discussing <laughs> Thank you for that, thank you for that. <sighs> I love my children. But you know, people don't raise children like I was raised back in the day. You know when mama said do something, you did it. It's what I call the gospel according to mama. I was in the grocery store and there was a mother negotiating with her son. I'm gonna count to three. Now I'm thinking the only thing my mama counted were the minutes I was passed out. <laughs> after she beat me, right? He wanted some Cocoa Puffs. She's trying to explain to him why he's gonna have life cereal. He didn't wanna hear that. Popped her upside the head, knocked the cereal out of her hand. I'm like, had that been my mama? Only thing you heard in that store, clean up on aisle three. <laughs> clean up on aisle three. Cocoa Puffs would have been everywhere. 
My mother would take the cereal box and beat you with it. Didn't I tell you? Mama, stop, you're a serial killer, stop it. <laughs> High as gas is. <laughs> or how his milk is, same as gas. Oh my gosh, crazy, crazy.